Today I'll be doing Beyblade Physics on Command Dragon from the Pro Series. And for sample base, I have Tempest, Wyvron, Seven, Cycle, and Venom, Valtriac, Vanguard, um, Variable. I tried to go all Vs because why not? First, I'm going to be going over Dragon's parts. For the performance tip, it uses Quick Dash. It's my second, uh, like, true dash performance tip. Dash performance tips have stronger springs, which increases burst resistance. And you can tell it's a dash performance tip if this part that here that's usually white is red, and if it has a golden spring. And it's in, it's this with this recolor of quick dash, since it's so transparent, you can see that gold spring really well. I'm not sure if you can see it on there um, or not, but in person you definitely can. And um, it's your it's kind of standard rubber hole flat, um, meaning it's a flat performance tip with kind of a hole or dunk in the middle and it's made of rubber and hole flats are pretty good for speed and attack and rubber tips are good for speed and attack for so with a combination of that it's pretty good for speed and attack and i think this is the first time hasbro has done a version of quick um clock seems like this happens often anyway um um, I think this is the first time Hasbro has done a version of Quick. Um, it first came in Japan with the Beyblade Burst remake of the Metal Fight Beyblade Storm Pegasus. So um, I'm still hoping that Hasbro will make those uh, Metal Fight Beyblades eventually. And next for the disc, it uses Vanguard. Um, you probably They probably could have included a... Well, for, to help this combo out, you could probably switch this out for a better disc, like a better disc for attack. But it's still a pretty nice disc to get. Here it is compared with the non-pro series version. As you can see, the non-pro series version, like with other discs, they made it smaller and they made it compatible with frames. And they took off the plastic. Um, Vanguard has a very downward um, pointed shape. Um, I'm assuming that would be good for some defense or balance since it um, since it um, came with originally um, Venom slash Erase, um, Dia Devilos, Diabolos, however you want to say it. But um, yeah, onto the layer base or whatever. The layer base is probably the most um, exciting part of this Beyblade. It's called Command. In Japan, it was called Imperial. And it has a whole bunch of gimmicks to it. It has some metal blades here. Like, just some bit of metal in the layer to give it weight, obviously. It is even heavier than Lord. So that's pretty cool. I didn't compare it with other layer bases, only with Lord. Um, it's right spin. And it has a few gimmicks. And it has, and um, but they're all um, in relation to an awakening gimmick. Um, awakening means the, the, it will get better through... Um, a whole bunch of battles like with the variable performance tip it, after t over time the rubber is supposed to wear down and it's supposed to get faster and it and as it does it's considered awakened or awakening I still haven't been able to awaken mine though even though i've been using it for a long time but um so you can force awaken command or like with this is the case with most awakenings but i like to do it the traditional way um, right now, it's completely unawakened, and it has these spring-loaded blades here. And if you look underneath, you can actually see the springs. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And it has these rubber points here, which should be good for some attack. So the awakening gimmick is that uh, if you hit these spring-loaded blades far enough, they'll move back and lock into place, um, revealing these rubber blades more and increasing attack, attack power. And then the Dragon 2 chip um, has some good teeth, I think. And the design, I noticed, um, compared to Dragon 1, um, obviously it has more gold and more silver. Um, but the claw here is also moved a little bit more forward, so between the two is kind of a striking motion. I thought that was kind of interesting. And the gold bits here and here are s supposed to not only line up with the command layer base, but also with Master from Master Diev... Diev Diabolos, Devlos, whatever you want to say. Um, now for the sample battles.
Yes. It's not as tight as Spryzen Requiem. I mean, Lord Spryzen, but it is still um, decently tight. Gonna go up against Venom Valtriac first. As with a lot of really powerful attack tips, with Quick Dash, you want to be careful to control it because it's, although with such high speed, it becomes hard to control. Similar case with Hypersphere tips, especially Power H. Um, gonna try launching Command first. Oh, big hits, huge hits, in fact. Yeah, you saw those were some pretty big hits it got in there. Let's see. Layer still doesn't look any awakened at all. And they didn't take too much burst damage, so that's interesting. Gonna go on to Tempest Wyvron 7 Cycle. in there. Yeah, um, I have heard that Quick Dash, despite being an attack tip, um, it does have some good um, LED or stamina. Um, LED stands for life after death. Um, and it means that, um, having good LED means that after the initial burst of speed, it will still last a little bit if it has good LED. Nope. Uh, gonna relaunch that. Wyvern back. Wyvern, whatever. <laughs> yep. Oh. Even with the double free spinningness, um, it was just one um, click away from bursting. I mean, they have slopes, but I'll just say it was one click because it was super close. And Quick Dash manages to outspin Cycle, which is a stamina sharp tip. So I'd say it has some pretty good stamina, actually, even though it may be a bit hard to control at first. Um, so yeah, I think that's Bailey Physics for Command Dragon. Um, I hope in my neck, in my upcoming Bailey tournament, we'll be able to see um, Command Dragon at least awaken a little bit. But we'll see what happens. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.